this is Ageless John, another Android Studio tutorial, and I'm having difficulty talking today. <laughs> All right, so what we want to do right now is we want to install Android Studio. Again, if you haven't downloaded it yet, uh, just go to Google, search for it, click on this, and uh, it'll bring up this page. You then you click it, read the terms, agree to to the uh, agreements in order to download. Click the little blue button, it comes up, and then you save file. Uh, it's 1.1 gigabytes in size, so it can take a small amount of time for you to download. Sometime later that same day, hopefully, when you've got it downloaded, you just go to wherever you saved it, double click, and it'll begin the process of installing. I actually uninstalled mine so that I can install it and you all could follow along with me. It doesn't take very long. There really aren't any special, uh, just click yes. There really aren't any click special things that you need to put in there. It's all pretty standard. Just next, yes, yes, I agree, I agree. Uh, this is the location of where there's actual Android Studio is gonna be. And this is where your SDK information is going to be stored. Recommended. Um, if you want to read this and, and think you are technical enough and have a big enough machine that you want to upgrade, that's great. Um, I'm just going to leave everything on recommendation because uh, I feel like most people are going to be doing the exact same thing. And there you go. Just wait for it to finish inst installing. The bulk of the time spent installing Android Studio will come during the extracting of Android SDK. Uh, this takes quite a while depending on the speed of your computer. And uh, even mine, which is not a slowpoke by any means, it does take a while. So just be patient and wait. But I thought 100% was 100%. Well, don't worry, there will be plenty of moments of when you think you're done installing this that you're not done installing this at all. Uh, now, some of you may choose to start Android Studio here like I'm going to, but you may also just click out of this, and uh, at this point, you can create a hotkey anywhere you want to. But I'm going to use this to finish and to start Android Studio. All right, now, you're still not done with your setup. Even though this is the first start, it will have to download several components uh, from the website, um, mostly dealing with the SDK. So this may take a while as well. So you still have more setup to do, and this will all be... Uh, very dependent on your internet speed. Um, some of it, however, is just, it's just going to take a while because it's coming down from a very large repository and sometimes their speed is set at a certain limit and even if you have the fastest internet in the world, your internet is going to be as fast as everybody else's. So, this would be a good time to go and get something to drink, maybe some coffee or tea, sit back and relax because it's going to take a couple of minutes. So. I'll see you again when it's done downloading this one section. Well, after a very long time for some of us, uh, it will get down to downloading components and finish. Yay! You're done, but you're not. Now we want to go into configuration here and into SDK Manager. Uh, these are all different uh, API, API levels. Uh, we have six is basically what we're going to stick with for uh, this tutorial. There are some other things that, uh, you're going to have to uh, eventually install when you're using uh, uh, this program. One of the things I want you to install right now, however, is this on the second page. It opens up the STD, SDK platforms. The second tab right here is SDK tools. I want you to go down here and tell this Intel x86 emulator accelerator and this will allow uh, many of you to have a much faster experience with the preview browser uh, that is an emulator of an actual phone uh, so that that's what you're going to run your apps on um, so that what many of you and I'll be using this repeatedly in the tutorial I'll also be showing uh, how to use not only uh, this, but how to use the uh, Genie, Genie, Genie Motion, and, and also how to use your own phone uh, through a USB connection uh, and the 
to, to run the apps actually on your phone which is the method that I prefer because it's a lot more realistic for me and also because it's a lot faster. Um, these emulators tend to be a little on the sluggish side. So you need to click there, click apply, click OK, and let it install. And that was it. Finish. OK. And now you're ready to start your very first Android Studio project. And that's what we'll be doing with the next tutorial. This is Aceless John. Thank you for joining me. Look forward to seeing you again. Don't forget to subscribe and to thumbs up. Until next time, this has been Aceless John teaching about Android Studio.